Well, Butte is expecting record numbers in attendance and donations after this weekend's Montana Folk Festival. MTN's John Amy gives us some of the highlights from this weekend's three-day music event. Indications are that the weekend's Montana Folk Festival in Butte was quite a humdinger. All the metrics are uh, pointing to uh, some really good numbers in terms of attendance and beer sales and the buckets that people have collected on the sites. Donations collected at the free three-day music festival are expected to top last year's event, which was the best year for donations in the festival's 12-year run. On the site, it was something like, I think, 124,000 uh, in buckets, which is pretty substantial this year, this year over, the, over the three days. Some business owners, like the operator of the Venus Rising Espresso House, said they received plenty of business from festival goers. We get a lot of the people that head up to the hill, especially to the original, and they were so happy about the festival. Uh, many people loved all the musicians. I'd ask who was your favorite and they couldn't pick. <laughs> And while the cleanup continues from this year's festival, organizers say they want more feedback from the public so they can find out how to make next year's festival even better. By email or Facebook or anything that they would like to let us know that we could try to do differently, we, we try to respond to those. And the more you know, comments we receive, the, the more direction we have to improve the festival each year. And Everett adds, there will be another festival in 2020. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.